Indra Nuyi Ne Krishnamurti, born the 28th of October 1955, is an Indian American business executive, serving as chairwoman of PepsiCo, the second largest food and beverage business in the world by net revenue, and as CEO for 12 years from 2006 to 2018. She has consistently ranked among the world's 100 most powerful women. In 2014, she was ranked at number 13 on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women, and was ranked the second most powerful woman on the Fortune list in 2015. In February 2018, the International Cricket Council announced that Nuyi would join the ICC board as its first independent female director in June. Topic: Early life. Nuyi was born to a Tamil-speaking Iyer family in Madras now known as Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Nuyi did her schooling in Holy Angels Anglo-Indian Higher Secondary School in T. Nagar. Education <inaudible> 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 Nuyi received a bachelor's degrees in physics, chemistry and mathematics from Madras Christian College of the University of Madras in 1974 and a postgraduate program diploma from Indian Institute of Management Calcutta in 1976. In 1978, Nuyi was admitted to Yale School of Management where she earned a master's degree in public and private management in 1980. Topic career Beginning her career in India, Nuyi held product manager positions at Johnson & Johnson and textile firm Metter Beardsall. While attending Yale School of Management, Nuyi completed her summer internship with Booz Allen Hamilton. In 1980, Nuyi joined the Boston Consulting Group BCG, and then held strategy positions at Motorola and Azia Brown Boveri. PepsiCo executive. Nuyi joined PepsiCo in 1994 and was named CFO in 2001. She was named President and CEO in 2006 replacing Stephen Reinmond, becoming the fifth CEO in PepsiCo's 44-year history. Nuyi has directed the company's global strategy for more than a decade and led PepsiCo's restructuring, including the 1997 divestiture of Tricon, now known as Yum! Brands. Nuyi also took the lead in the acquisition of Tropicana in 1998, and the merger with Quaker Oats Company, which also brought Gatorade to PepsiCo. She was named as the third most powerful woman in business by Fortune in 2014. Since she started as CFO in 2001, the company's annual net profit has risen from $2.7 billion to $6.5 billion. Nuyi was named on Wall Street Journal's list of 50 women to watch in 2007 and 2008, and was listed among Time's 100 most influential people in the world in 2007 and 2008. Forbes named her the number three most powerful woman in 2008. In 2014, she was ranked number 13 by Forbes. Fortune ranked her the number one most powerful woman in business in 2009 and 2010. On 7 October 2010 Fortune magazine ranked her the sixth most powerful woman in the world. In Fortune's Most Powerful Women list of 15 September 2015, Nuyi ranked second. Nuyi's strategic redirection of PepsiCo has been largely successful. She reclassified PepsiCo's products into three categories. Fun for you. Such as potato chips and regular soda better for you diet or low fat versions of snacks and sodas and good for you items such as oatmeal her initiative was backed up with ample funding she moved corporate spending away from junk foods and into the healthier alternatives with the aim of improving the healthiness of even the fun offerings in 2015 Nuyi removed aspartame from diet pepsi furthering the shift towards healthier foods despite lack of evidence of aspartame's harmful effects Nuyi has stated an intent to develop a line of snacks marketed specifically for women feeling that it is a hitherto unexplored category in a radio interview, Nuyi stated that PepsiCo is getting ready to launch products designed and packaged according to women's preferences, and based on behavioral differences in the way men and women consume snacks. On 6 August 2018, PepsiCo Inc. confirmed that Nuyi would step down as the CEO and Ramon LaGuarda, a 22 year veteran of PepsiCo, would replace her on October 3. Ramon LaGuarda replaced her on that day, as well as becoming a member of the board of directors. 
However, Nuyi will continue to serve as the chairwoman of the company until early 2019. During her tenure, the company's sales grew 80%. Nuyi served as CEO for 12 years, seven years longer than the average CEO tenure at large companies according to an Equalar study. Remuneration While CEO of PepsiCo in 2011, Nuyi earned $17 million, which included a base salary of $1.9 million, a cash bonus of $2.5 million, pension value and deferred remuneration of $3 million. By 2014, her total remuneration had grown to $19,087,832, including $5.5 million of equity. Topic awards and recognition In 2018, Nuyi was named one of the best CEOs in the world by the CEO WORLD magazine. Forbes magazine ranked Nuyi on the 2008 through 2017 lists of the world's 100 most powerful women. Fortune magazine has named Nuyi number one on its annual ranking of most powerful women in business for 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009 and 2010. In 2008, Nuyi was named one of America's best leaders by U.S. News & World Report. In 2008, she was elected to the Fellowship of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. In January 2008, Nuyi was elected chairwoman of the U.S. India Business Council USIBC. Nuyi leads USIBC's board of directors, an assembly of more than 60 senior executives representing a cross section of American industry. Nuyi has been named 2009 CEO of the Year by Global Supply Chain Leaders Group. In 2009, Nuyi was considered one of the top gun CEOs by Brendan Wood International, an advisory agency. After five years on top, PepsiCo's Indian American chairman and CEO Indra Nuyi has been pushed to the second spot as most powerful woman in U.S. business by Kraft's CEO, Irene Rosenfeld. In 2013, Nuyi was named one of the 25 Greatest Global Living Legends by NDTV. On 14 December 2013, she was awarded by the President of India Pranab Mukherjee at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Nuyi was named to Institutional Investors Best CEOs list in the All America Executive Team Survey in 2008 to 2011. The Yale School of Management will name its deanship in honor of Nuyi as she gifted an undisclosed amount, becoming the school's biggest alumni donor and the first woman to endow a deanship at a top business school. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Memberships and Associations. Nuyi is a successor fellow of the Yale Corporation. She serves as a member of the Foundation Board of the World Economic Forum, International Rescue Committee, Catalyst and the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. She is also a member of the Board of Trustees of Eisenhower Fellowships, and has served as chairperson of the U.S. India Business Council. Nuyi serves as an honorary co-chair for the World Justice Project. The World Justice Project works to lead a global, multidisciplinary effort to strengthen the rule of law for the development of communities of opportunity and equity. In December 2016, Nuyi joined a business forum assembled by President-elect Trump to provide strategic and policy advice on economic issues. Personal life Indra married Raj K. Nuyi, president at Amsoft Systems, in 1981. Nuyi has two daughters and resides in Greenwich, Connecticut. One of her daughters is currently attending the School of Management at Yale, Nuyi's alma mater. Forbes ranked her at the third spot among World's Powerful Moms list. Her older sister is businesswoman and Grammy nominated artist Chandrika Krishnamurti Tandon. In India, she used to play cricket and guitar in an all girl rock band. See also Indians in the New York City metropolitan region <laughs>